A-W-O-L-F. Impact News. Precise and to the point. This is O. Henry to make a short story long. It's 24 degrees in Syracuse. A complete forecast follows the news. Syracuse. Governor Rockefeller insists there is not a word of truth and reports that his fiscal policies would lead to elimination of state income tax credits or a statewide sales tax. Rockefeller made the statement here in Syracuse last night at a public news forum before an audience of about 700 in Hotel Syracuse. The governor spent the night in town. His schedule today includes a luncheon address in Buffalo at the annual meeting of the New York State Association of Towns and a speech at a dinner of the Niagara County Republican Committee in Niagara Falls. Many of the questions last night covered spending and taxes. The audience was friendly for the most part, but there were some traces of hostility. One showed up when the governor argued that no tax increases resulted from the government's decision not to continue. A 10% income tax rebate given last year. He said the 10% had been refunded last year as surplus. Rockefeller said, you're not paying 10% more this year, you're just not going to get a rebate. When some of the audience laughed, Rockefeller said, I'm not trying to be tricky on this. Albany. Fast-moving storm skidded to a stop over Lake Ontario and has poured a foot or more of snow on New York State. At least four persons are feared dead in the storms. Two men are feared to have drowned at Cahos, north of Albany, when their truck went down an embankment into a 15-foot deep spillway. The search reportedly is underway for two men. Two other persons reportedly died of a heart attack while shoveling snow. Elsewhere in the news, a 54-mile gale lashing the eastern and central Atlantic was uh, has forced postponement of the ninth scheduled attempt to put astronaut John Glenn Jr. into orbit around the Earth. The announcement was from Cape Canaveral early this morning. It said the storm was driving 18-foot waves to the area where Glenn would have to land in the event of an emergency on liftoff or if his capsule fell short of its intended orbit. The areas of concern involved seas between Cape Canaveral and Bermuda and between Bermuda and the Canary Islands. From the Congo, a member of the U.S. Embassy staff in Leopoldville, Lieutenant Colonel Hewland Stogner of El Paso, Texas, was shot and fatally wounded last night in his home in a residential section of the Congo capital. A Congolese worker was seized for questioning early today. 39-year-old Stogner was the embassy's assistant military attaché. Embassy officials could give no explanation for the attack. Stogner's house was not robbed, and the assailant apparently made no attempt even to enter the house after firing the fatal shot through a bedroom window. Mexico City, an unexplained fire swept through the new U.S. Embassy building under construction in Mexico City last night. About 400 construction workers on the job escaped unhurt as flames engulfed wooden scaffolding and caused steel girders, as witness put it, to bend like chewing gum. Washington, Internal Revenue Commissioner Mortimer Kaplan says the administration is working up a plan to lower tax rates by broadening the tax base. This could be done by eliminating such preferences as capital gains and treating all income alike. In Kaplan's words... With the broader base, tax rates would be lower, and we could still raise the same amount of tax revenue because the tax base would be larger. You figure it out. That's the late news from Wolf Radio. This is Hank Greenwald reporting now. The weather, light snow ending this morning, partial clearing this afternoon, plotting up again tonight with snow tonight and Friday. High both days, 30 to 35. Low tonight, 22 right now. The barometer at 30.09 and rising. Winds west-southwest at 8. Humidity now at 74%. Present Syracuse temperature under cloudy skies, 24. News headlines from Wolf Radio. 24 degrees in Syracuse. The complete forecast follows these headlines. Syracuse, Governor Rockefeller insists there is not a word of truth and reports that his fiscal policies would lead to elimination of state income tax credits or a statewide sales tax. Albany, a fast-moving storm skidded to a stop over Lake Ontario and has poured a foot or more of snow on New York State. Cape Canaveral, a 54-mile-an-hour gale lashing the Atlantic has forced postponement of today's attempt to launch astronaut John Glenn into orbit. From the Congo, a member of the U.S. Embassy staff, Lieutenant Colonel Hewlin Stogner of El Paso, Texas, was shot and fatally wounded at his Leopoldville home last night. A Congolese worker has been seized for questioning. Those are the news headlines from Wolf Radio. Hank Greenwald reporting. Next news, live at... 655. Stay tuned now for Weather Roundup on the Northeast Radio Network. The Northeast Radio Network and this station bring you Weather Roundup, a complete report on local weather conditions across the state. We go first to Jamestown. 
In Jamestown this morning, we have clear skies. The temperature is 16 degrees. Winds calm. Barometer rising reads about 30.1. The humidity this morning is way down around about 60 to 62 percent. We've had just a trace of precipitation since the storm ended some 12 to 14 hours ago. Looks like a real dandy day here. How are things in Rochester, Eddie Mead? We're up to 22 degrees in Rochester this morning, and it's a lot nicer day than it was yesterday at the same time. Our uh, southwest winds are coming in at 12 miles an hour. The humidity is 84 percent. The barometer rising, 30.1. Let's see what the weather looks like tomorrow. Our high of 77 degrees. What's it look like in Scranton this morning? Well, we have variable cloudy sky that we're in cold. Uh, we expect snow flurries today and fair and cold tonight. Our visibility is 15 miles right now under cloudy skies. Temperature 21. Humidity is 74%. Barometer is 30.12 uh, 30 and rising. The wind is northwest at 10. Here's a pleasant morning. And now here's our most pleasant and genial gentleman, Dean Harris in Syracuse. Thank you, Bill. In Syracuse, very light snow is falling. Temperature 24, humidity 75, barometer rising from 3011. The wind west-southwest at 7 miles an hour. And now the report from Charles John Stevenson in beautiful Schenectady. Well, we've only had 12 and a half inches of snow here in the last 24 hours, Dean, and we're still having a little. The temperature is 26 degrees, the wind is north at 9, relative humidity 94 percent, the barometer is going up 30.08, and we're looking for a bit of clearing toward the afternoon. I don't think we're going to be completely smothered in snow. That's the situation in Schenectady, now the official forecast. Thank you and good morning for western New York, including Buffalo and Olean and the Finger Lakes region, including Auburn, Geneva, and Seneca Falls. Snow flurries and intervals of partial clearing early today, then clouding up during the day, followed by wet snow possibly mixed with rain. Temperatures in the mid-30s, the overnight lows down to 32, cloudy with wet snow or rain on Friday, changing to flurries, gradually turning colder. For the Mohawk and Hudson Valleys, including Utica, Rome, the Capital District, Poughkeepsie, and Newburgh. Snow, moderate to heavy at times, papering off the scattered flurries by daybreak. Total snow accumulation probably will average a foot, as Charles John has already pointed out. Partly cloudy with scattered snow flurries during the day. Moderate temperatures, uh, the overnight lows will dip down into the 20s. Mostly fair and colder on Friday with increasing cloudiness and uh, some more snow likely. Winds northwest to southwest, 10 to 25 miles per hour during the day. And that's the summary of the forecast. From Pennsylvania to Canada, from the Great Lakes to New England, Get the complete weather picture on the Northeast Radio Network.